بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو دس ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور ریموٹ ڈپلائمنٹ سنگل کلک ریموٹ ڈپلائمنٹ دس از اے فیچر وچ یو کین یوز ان آرڈر ٹو ڈپلائی فرام ون اوریکل ایپیکس انسٹنس ٹو انادر اوریکل ایپیکس انسٹنس یوزنگ ریسٹ فل سروسز سو یو ڈونٹ نیڈ اینی other link since you will have restful services enabled so then you can just click from one instance source instance to the target instance and it will install your oracle apex as well as you can select for database objects as well so it will create tables it will create views everything whatever is there and it will deploy your oracle apex application without exporting then importing loading nothing and the question is now when and where we need it the first thing is you will have uh, like for example two instances or three instances test instance qa instance and then live or production instance so i assume since uh, it's a demo or just a video so you will keep two instances uh, source and target another thing is let's say for example if you have a client you want to deploy on their side so you can establish this remote deployment as well so instead of exporting uh, giving them the files emailing and all the stuff so you will have control on your deployment and you can resolve if there is any challenge and you know it's instance to instance so you will not have any uh, worry about it so we are going to have a demo in which we uh, we will have one source instance and another instance that we will consider as a target instance or whatever you call it production or live so i will be using two cloud accounts apex.oracle.com and the oracle cloud uh, account which will be autonomous database account so i will be deploying let's say for example from apex.oracle.com to the other cloud cloud account or vice versa you can have uh, on the both way all depending on your source and target how you define it so let's proceed okay so here is my uh, oracle apex instance apex.oracle.com on which i have this application let's say this text on which i had another video if i'm not wrong and then i have a target instance right so what i'm going to do my objective of this uh, session is to take this application from this source apex.oracle.com to this my cloud account right which can be autonomous which can be your other on premises or anywhere it's not uh, that you should have only in the cloud or autonomous you should have anywhere maybe from on premises you want to deploy to cloud or vice versa it it all depends no issue okay let us now configure first how these source and target need to be configured so this is my target so first on target you will be coming to sql workshop and restful services i had enabled it this uh, schema so what i will do let me remove it uh, deregister so there should be no confusion right schema not register so by default you will have this status right there will be no schema let's say for example it's a fresh instance and still you don't have any restful service enabled schema so you will come on the sql workshop restful service you will get this screen and first you have to register this is my target where i want to deploy where i want to copy where i want to install so please make sure that your understanding is clear okay save no change i did and that's it this is my target schema no other configuration so what i will go uh, what i will do first i will click on the modules then i will be clicking on this and then just just sample any sample right 
So this is sample installation and I will click on this one get. When you will click on this uh, get, you will get this URL. We just wanted this URL, right? And this URL up to this schema. See, up to this it's schema. After this, it's a module, right? See, this one is your module base path HR, which is this. And this is your URI path. That is the last one, M info. So, we will remove these last two, these two parts. And we will key up to M plus. This is my uh, schema name. See, M plus, this one. So, this is my username admin and this is M plus. This is my workspace or schema because uh, schema is having same name. So this is my schema name. <coughs> I will copy from here. Right. Copy. Now <coughs> I have a username, schema name and password. So you need these three things from this target node. I am back on my instance. I will click the application I want to deploy. I will click this export import. Right. And here I will be selecting this last one remote deployment. The first time you will have more configuration, but the next time you will not have these much configuration because these configuration will be saved. Okay. If you see here, this is f if, if, if it's first time you will click this plus sign if it is second time or whatever you can select one of these. So let us consider we are doing it first time here name ERP stuff deployment right and here I will paste that URL which I had copied now. I will remove the last two parts. I don't need this one. Up to the schema name of the target instance because it will install the target schema, right? Next. Okay, credential. Yes, new. I don't want to use any existing because this is first time I am doing it. Credential for this, see, this, it is auto name. Uh, it has named it auto. Let us keep it as it is if you want to change up to you. Store credential. Yes, I will. I want to store. And there I have uh, this is username. I think I have this password. Let me try. If not, then I will uh, take from there. Okay, case sensitive. No. So let us create. Okay, it is success, restful services, SQL, and I will close this one, this auto save option. And that's it. It is giving you the details of uh, the local database timestamp, etc. And close. Right. So, since we have configured, now it will come over here, right? So, like you are doing this second time. Because you will next time you will select it, right? Your authentication is basic authentication. That means username and password, which we already entered, right? And next. It is up to the schema name. Okay, here you got the options. What kind of installation you want? Let's say export supporting object. Definition if you have included those so you will be doing that one export objects. Okay, uh, export private reports not required Because these are private so why you will have it public. Yes, you would you will need it because in interactive uh, grades or uh, Interactive report you save the reports right for the pub, uh, as a public so another setting you might need it override existing application right now one way is you will give application ID override or I will say this one keep sessions and override existing application. So let's say for example if it is uh, the application source application is 101 
if 101 is already there it will overwrite so that means let's say for example if this is your development instance or test instance whatever you call it from here you are exporting to the production so it will replace it right application in reverse and deploy let's see application remotely deploy it successfully so i will now visit my target instance go to the app builder wow rich text is here right everything is copied or deployed whatever you call it right so this is how you can uh, configure remote deployment which is really easy otherwise you will have to export import so many steps download upload so nothing required once it is ready remote deployment let's say for example you have completed your testing now you want to deploy just simply uh, export to export as a remote de a deployment so let's see uh, let me show you something this is my source uh, and, uh, this is my application yeah this is this text application and so first time i was configuring it right so let me try second time so for example let me change something in this just a moment i just this is my home right home page and in this I'll, uh, let's say i am just removing this breadcrumb and i will be moving uh, renaming this to uh, user for example okay now on target it is not there right uh, let me show you on the target this is my home and if you see here breadcrumb is there and this is new right so i will be now deploying again it is saved and let me come to the application export remote deployment okay now here i will select this one right no change because we had uh, opted to save the, the username and password next okay all right deploy done so let me review my production i'm just going to refresh home user updated right and breadcrumb is no more there so this is how easy it is and if you will practice uh, one thing uh, let me mention over here uh, if you have local on-premises instance then you might need to configure uh, SSL certificates uh, for this cloud account you can download from here and then you can uh, you might need because these are both HTTPS so both are aligning each other so this challenge you might need to address please try it practice it and share your feedback Right. Thank you very much. And Allah Hafiz.